How's it going everybody? Bobby Aga 20,000 here and this is going to be a short episode to show you how I made the Charizard pixel art because some, well one of my friends did not believe it was actually made by me. He thought I hacked it into the game somehow. So I'm just going to show you. Uh, we're going to make another one today or start another one. I'm going to finish it later. And today we're going to be making Gengar. Yeah, Gengar is a total badass. But um... Hang on a second, because I think I cut off a piece of his head. Did I really? Uh, th no, it does not look like it. Everything's there. Alright, so I've zoomed in to where Photoshop will... Well, first of all, I, I cut him out. So I, it's just a small file. And then I zoomed in to the point where um you could see each pixel individually, okay? Because this is, this is key. you got to be able to count them. If you're like out like this... You're you're never gonna be able to to make a pixel art. You gotta zoom in, get get real close, as close as possible, and then pretty much all you have to do is follow along. All right, so here we're gonna start at the, I start at the bottom and work my way up because that's a lot easier. I'm not using any flying modes, cheats, mods, whatever. It'd probably be a lot easier, but I just no, I haven't yet. So. Uh, we're gonna start with the lowest point in the body. So that's down here, and that would be his um, his right foot. Yes. So just count out how many blocks there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there's seven blocks. Oh, also another thing you want to do when you start is um, just uh, figure out how wide and how tall your structure is gonna be, so you have enough m room in Minecraft to build it. You don't want to like. Yes, I'm almost done, and now I just gotta put this block, oh my god, it's a wall, and I'm stuck here. If that happens, you can just move the entire thing and MC edit, but that's really a waste of time. So, I'm recording with Camtasia, and it might be a little bit laggier than what you're used to, but this should work correctly. Now, another problem with Gengar is the colors. The colors of Gengar are not found in wool normally, so what I did was I replaced uh, gravel dirt and clay because they're all relatively easy to uh, get rid of you don't need a tool so that should um, solve that problem so I'm just counting blocks see how far I have to go I you know you know screw it I'll just build him on this wall and actually I think this wall is a uh, Whatever, I'll play it safe. I'll build him right here. If I need to move him, then I'll move him. So, there's about, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 blocks out from his foot is the end of Gengar, the very edge of his uh, face. So, let's just put a black blo block here, and then... No, actually, it would have been higher. Right here. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So Gengar is going to finish right about here, which is a perfect timing. And I'm getting a phone call, so hold up for a second there. Okay, sorry about that. My mom just had to call me to tell me something in... Tell me something unimportant and something I'm going to forget in five seconds. Alright, so how many blocks was Gengar's foot again? Four, seven, alright. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, pretty much what I did was I got this set, these seven blocks down. I, I look what's next. We've got two blocks right, one block up. And both of these are a block away. And then... Okay, and then we start at the seventh one. Every other block, we put three down, and pretty much we guess. Oh, damn it. Oh my god. Jesus. Skip one. There we go. So we have his. What the hell? This block is floating in midair. Pretty much, we already have Gengar's foot kind of down. Now, the uh, the reason I started at the bottom is so that I can actually walk on the on the structure. 
as we build it. And then let me replace these colors. I actually, I realized that Charizard did not have, um, I did not finish his, his right arm completely over there. If you look in the video I made earlier, you're going to notice that his right arm is kind of lacking a little bit. But anyways. Alright, so pretty much I use sand to make big towers and shit. Which is this right here. This way I can reach my, my building. So, I have four shades of purple. This is the lightest right here. This is the second lightest. This is the, the third lightest. And then this is the darkest. So... We've got one, two, three, four. This is actually the darkest. And this one is actually normal purple wool. That's why it looks a little bit different. I think it looks cool like that. So, all this is the second darkest shade. And we're just going to fill up his fill like that. And then one more row. And the way I, you just, it's all about counting really. It's all just counting. Look, like from here, we put these three blocks. You just, what I tell myself is, all right, fill this entire, cover this, cover the base that we've already built in purple up to one block from the from the end. So I just go one, two, three, four, I don't, you don't even need to count. One block from the end. Okay, so we're going to put a black block here and then fill the rest up with purple. All right, and what we just, we just put this black bo block right here and we, Fill this in with purple. You didn't even need to count. Now what we do is uh, go to the next level, and we say, okay, put one black block out one on this side, and then fill the rest up with purple until you get to the same place on this. So we put, <clears throat> sorry, we put a black block here right above the previous one. We go to this side, and we move one out, and then you just fill this up. And pretty much you just keep going like that, it doesn't look like anything now, but um, that is uh, exactly what we just did right here. And then I have to put this block right here, and then you just continue adding layers. The only tricky part is when a, a shape goes like in a U. Like for example, on the, on the Charizard, the wing, see how right there it goes up and then down? That gets kind of tricky because what I, you have to do is... um. You have to go from the tail right over here, and you have to like make a bridge to this here, and then you start to build build up, and then they, they both meet, and there's a chance you could fuck it up if you add or remove an extra block, but you get a feel for it, and it, it's not really as hard as it seems. So, I'm just going to build two more layers, and then I'm going to end this video, because that's pretty much all you need to know about what I did. I really have no idea what programs... I could have used to do this on my own. There are no programs that do this for you. So, all right, look, we're gonna we're on this row right now, the fourth row. So on the fifth row, one block above the previous, fill it up with purple until we get to the end of the purple. Then two blocks of lighter purple, two blocks of the darkest purple. All right, so go here, fill it up with purple all the way to the previous purple, which is right here. Two blocks of lighter purple, is it lightest or no, it's third lightest purple. So two blocks of this, then two blocks of the darkest. And there we go. That's and what did I say, two more layers? Okay. So here we go. We we go one out, one up and one out. So of the darkest purple, which would be right there. And then one, two, three, six blocks of Third lightest purple, four blocks of the lightest purple. Of, goddamn. So six. You get what I was trying to say. And now for right, it should overlap two blocks. One, two, yes. And then one, two, two, three, four. I just didn't want to fall off. And then we have the darkest purple and a black. Okay. So, it it looks really like when you do a speed build of it, you don't see this screen in Photoshop. You just see the Minecraft, and you see me pausing the game a lot, like I'm doing right now. And so you're wondering, oh my god, what is he doing? He's a magician, or a wizard. That's not true, sadly. I can't be a magician or a wizard because I don't have a really long beard. 
but uh, pretty much, yeah, you just start like this, and then it looks good from farther away. The farther away you get, the better it's going to look, because of the resolution, it's going to, the pixels are going to blend together to cause gradients in the colors. You know how colors work. But it's, it's going to look good when it's done, so, although that purple looks a little off. I think that this purple is too dark. I'm going to have to change it, but eh, whatever. Shouldn't be too hard to do. And so yeah, pretty much, that that's how I made the Charizard. And uh, I actually want to see... What the hell are you doing here, cow? I actually want to see what you guys can do. So if you can make shit with pixels... What the hell? Did my cow eat my wool? The cow ate the wool. Well, that sucks. Alright, I want to see what you guys can do. Post a, a video re response or a video of your own and send me a message. I want to I wanna see what you guys can build with pixel art. But don't make anything like a, a, a 5 pixel ball. That'd just be dumb. So yeah, hope you're enjoying this video. See you guys later.